was Halloween night, and he stopped the car. And uh, I was get through it, get out, forget about it. And then I found out I was pregnant and uh, couldn't forget about it. Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Waxon, North Carolina, and this is my story. My childhood was great, except that there was a family friend that had taken advantage of me. I was um, going to school, and he'd stop me every time. They were doing road construction, and he'd stop me. And I was like, whose cool car is that? That's my car. I was like, yeah, right. And he's like, meet me at my car. I said, OK. So I did. And then I found out I was pregnant and uh, couldn't forget about it. I was considering suicide. The next morning, um, mom comes out and she says, are you pregnant? And I wanted to say no, but being honest is who I am. And so I said yes, and I flipped over and uh, didn't want to talk about it. And so she walked into the bedroom and I heard her say to my dad, Lynn, what are we going to do? Ding, ding, ding. It was 12 o'clock. The Crisis Pregnancy Center shared on the radio about what they do and gave the phone number. And we called it, went down. I had to work through my anger with God that he allowed that to happen. And uh, looking for love in all the wrong places, reliving the pain. And uh, I got pregnant again. And uh, this time I wasn't going to deal with it. I wasn't going through another pregnancy. I wasn't going through the shame and the guilt. And I just was going to take care of it. And the nurse came out and I had lost it. I knew God wasn't going to allow me to make the biggest mistake of my life. And now Rachel um, is a mom with three kids, um, a boy and two twin girls. And uh, it was family friends that couldn't have children. And they had adopted her and raised her in a loving Christian home. And just to think that God divinely intervened over and over to save her life. And um, it's just amazing to me, God's sovereignty, that He has a plan and purpose. So I gave him up for adoption. I was like, God, I can't do this. You've got to break this cycle. And when that two year came and went, and I realized that God had broke that cycle, in my life and that was the change and I began to experience the goodness of God and his love 